good morning on this cold and wet December morning. Now I've had emails from the millions basically pointing out that my videos, although they're called Big Boys Toys, don't actually contain any videos of toys. Well first of all I'd like to thank Mr and Mrs Millions for their two emails and this video is for you. Now, when you watch this video, you may find yourself getting a bit emotional, partly because it's going to take you back to when you were a child yourself, but also because when you look at the prices of some of these toys, you'll have wished you still had them. So, warning over, let's go to the toy fair. The first thing you find when you go to a toy fair like this is these are not the kind of toys that you're going to find in your local Toys R Us store. No, these toys are something different. They are collector's items that can be worth an absolute fortune. And not only that, the people browsing through the stores are not the kind of people you'd find in a Toys R Us store either. These are not children. These are ladies and gentlemen that have travelled from miles, even across Europe, to come and try and find that one special item and as I found out there was no shortage of things to choose from. After perusing the stands for just a short while, it wasn't long before I started to find toys that were familiar to me. Here were the very toy trains that I had when I was a boy. And I have to confess, I was already getting the urge to want to buy them all back again. So all these, so the, this is your yeah. hobby as such. Yeah. So what, what? So to get them into the condition that they are in now, like that, you've re, you've reconditioned them all. I've restored them, yeah. Right. So you scratch right, right. back to the metal, primed, resprayed, put back together. Right. So, so you're going yeah, right so to the metal. Finished off, thing like that one. Finished off by hand with the paintwork as well. Oh wow. You know. So they're completely, yeah. totally restored from totally. the metal upwards. Yeah.
So these are the original six million dollar man figures. They're not remakes or anything no, like that. They're original. All original. Play sets, the costumes, and the dolls. How on earth did you get a hold of this stuff? Six million dollar man was my own private collection. It took me 15 years to collect. It took me 15 years to get the collection together. Right, and that is a collection of the six million dollar man stuff. The bionic and the bionic one. Oh yes, good. Right, and now you're selling it. So, so here you've got a whole load of Action Man stuff, yep. many of which all of us uh, in my age wanted when we were kids and couldn't have. Couldn't have. Yeah, so, so h how easy is it to get hold of this stuff now, the original Action Man? It's getting increasingly more difficult. Right. Um, what we tend to do is it comes to fairs like this. That's yeah. The, the big game changer in collecting. My years of collecting has been about 20 years. Yeah. The big game change has been eBay. eBay, right, okay. You know, I can remember going back 20 years ago starting to come to these fairs. And yeah. It up for months and months and months. If I yeah. go to a fair in December, I've got yeah. a in my pocket, 20 quid, whatever it might be. Yeah. You go to these fairs and looking for things. Yes. Whereas now, I think we've all got the internet in our lounge or dining room, whatever. Yes. And you just go on and it's always all there. there. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Has that, has that driven the market down, do you think? Do you make things cheap? It's definitely having effects on it, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. These fairs are nowhere near as big or as busy as they used to be. Right, right, because um, of, right. There's still, there's still treasure troves out there. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's stuff to be found, there's deals to be had. And you can see things for real then, can't you? You can see the yeah, authenticity of them. I like to come and touch it and feel it. And right, make sure it's, it all, all yeah. Right, as well as go off one photograph. Right, and right. Actually, it's, it's a day out, it's more of a Yeah. Thing. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and what is the most? In what would you say is the best action man thing you've got on here now? Somebody. Oh, sold it hours ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got left though? What, what, got left. Uh, the copter looks good. The copter's nice. That's the copter. The on that. Yeah. And, and that's an original, is it? Oh, yeah. The helicopter. Some yeah. Far end down there, right. Having seen the awesome action man helicopter, I thought I'd seen it all, but there was still loads of great stuff to come. So what we've got here then, so the, the ones in the glass cabinet. Those yeah. are our expensive ones. And that is that Hillman in there in the middle for 990. 990 pounds. Yeah. Wow. There's the Citroen Radio Luxembourg for 1100 pounds. Wow. There's the um, Volvo there, Saints Volvo oh, the for 1900 pounds. Oh. Those are the most expensive items we've got. It's a bit wow. There's a Sun Mini which is still in its box because it's original and it's never been out of its box. That yeah. RAC Mini for 1250 It's just phenomenal. So anyone who's got these now, that would be fortunate, yeah. aren't they? We've got these three pre-war sets at the bottom which are worth looking at simply because they've survived since the 1930s with the backing cards in perfect condition. And they're sort of seven, 700, so that one on the end of the picture box is only 400. But so these are pre-war? Pre-war, yeah. <laughs> 
all original. So, so have you got anything today? Have you, have you managed to get any? No, I'm just looking. I've got my eye on a couple of things. Right, okay. So you're going to... One of them. Let's have a look at that. Because I'm always buying stuff from you see. Right, okay. Oh, so, yeah, so, so, so you're here... Bought, right. I bought that off him. What, this this here? That one there, I bought that off him. £165. Yeah, I've had it back two okay. years ago. So do you think... Do you... I bought that gold one off him. The gold Aston Martin? Yeah. Three hundred and seventy pounds. So, are these for you an investment? Yeah, yeah. Oh, would you yes, say? yes, yes, yes. Money buys an investment. Right. Yes, investments. Uh, right. So, yes, you get pleasure out of it. So, yeah. so, so, although these cars are expensive now, you yeah. would have paid less for the Aston Martin yeah. and the Gold Aston there yeah. than what they are now. Yeah. So, I'm, Mega. I'm, well, I bought right. it, but it's about um, that, that's what I want to go for longer. Right. Yeah. Right. So I did pay a lot less for me. Right. So, but, uh, Fantastic. Oh wow, the whole thing just opened. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, mega. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it did that. Oh, wow. Does the ejector seat work? Yeah, yeah. The ejector seat works in that. Having walked round the toy fair for hours and seen all of the toys that I had when I was a child, I then came across a stand with toys that even went back to my grandparents' era. So these are all genuine, mostly tin plate. Right. Mostly clockwork. You're right. So, um, yeah, the train, most of them are clockwork. Some of the battery operated into, you yeah. know, like these sorts of space toys. Yeah. And then the Stife. Oh, then you've got, of course, the Stife bears, yeah. And those are original, are those? Yeah, everything's vintage or antique. Everything. 1967 on the Lost in Space. So the Lost in Space is 1967 yeah. when it first came out. That would yeah. have been when it first came out. It's thermos the original in there, black and white. Yeah. He's great. 19 so that would have been before Navy Seals were called Navy Seals when they right. were genuinely called Frogmen because they would go down trolling for mines. Right. So they were called the Frogmen. And this toy's never been out of its wrapper. I was going to say, that is still in its packaging. Yeah, it's a clockwork. From? Just flips. Um, that'd be about 1945. No way. Yeah, way. 1945 and never yeah. even been opened. This, these toys are about 1890. 1890? These are about 1900 up here. How do you find this? these things? You want to see something? Yeah, I want to see something really interesting. Really yes. Interesting. Okay, this is from about 1904. 1904, okay. And it costs just about as much. Right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, you'd expect that. One pound for every year. Yeah, one pound for every year, right, okay. <laughs> but these are like the Rolls Royce of German tin plate toys. Right. Um, they're made by a company called Lehman okay. in Nuremberg. Oh, sorry, okay. they were from Brandenburg. Okay. A lot of the German manufacturers are from Nuremberg. But... Okay. This one is really special. So, actually, shall we wind it and I'll show you what it does. So, this is about 1904. Right. Um, and then I'll just show you the motion. I won't put it down. No, it's no, no, cautious. whatever you do, don't. Ah, oh, wow. So, you see, he stares, the dog is turning, and actually, what you're looking at is the umbrella pops the lid. And she's actually supposed to be smacking the dog. Oh, really? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, different era, right, okay. But, yeah, so it's an old handsome cab, it's called Lila. That's amazing. Yeah, but it's pretty fantastic. But it's mint, condition. it's absolutely but fantastic. Even on the condition. inside, they have like their old cloth and skirts and. Yeah, that's, really that cool. Is, that's cool. That is really nice. Yeah, so there are space toys from like the 50s and 60s. But this is like one of, like one of 
sort of a very, very early primitive space toy. It was called the Space Convertible. Right. So this is like 1938, before even the space race. Well, it was really 1938. Cool. Uh, 1938. So this was meant to be the driver, and that was meant to be um, a spaceman. Right. These so things wouldn't even stay that long. So these are, yes. The yeah, when space was, uh, space was a fascinating. Yeah. Well, after spending all day wandering round the toy fair, I left with a big smile on my face and a strong feeling of nostalgia as I remembered all of those toys that I used to play with when I was a child. And I thought to myself, maybe I'll come back next year and buy my daughter a toy from here. I think I'll get her the Action Man Assault Helicopter. And hey, if she doesn't like it, I guess I'll have to have it.